Hi everyone, this is Jess from the Estevan Public Library and for today's Teens Crate, we are making water bead stress balls. This is an easy and stress-free project that you can make to help you de-stress from your finals and you only need four things. You will need some water beads, a balloon, I recommend getting a clear one if you can so you can see the different color water beads. You will also need a plastic wa water bottle and a little bit of water. Let's get started! To start, we need to grow our water beads. I added some water to our water bottle already. I added a couple inches, just enough to cover the beads. Next, we add our water beads. You don't need to measure out your water beads, but make sure not to add too many, as they can get quite big. I added about half a teaspoon, but you can add more or less. You can also use a funnel to help make sure that they make it into the water bottle. Once your water beads are added, let them sit between two and six hours, or until you can't see any water left. It's been over six hours and my water beads are full sized and I can't see any more water, so they're ready to go. Now we'll grab a balloon and slightly inflate it. You don't need to make it too big, just about medium size. This is the size of, I made my balloon. For the next step, keep the neck of the balloon pinched so the air won't get out. Then stretch out the mouth of the balloon over top the opening of the water bottle. Once your balloon is securely on the water bottle, tip it all over and pour in your water beads into the balloon. Once all the water beads are inside the balloon, pinch the neck of the balloon and pull it off the water bottle. Now slowly release the air out of the water balloon. If you go too fast, your water beads will pop out. Once the air is out of the balloon and your water beads can move freely, it's time to tie the balloon. I wrapped the neck of the balloon around two of my fingers and then pushed the end through the loop. Once the knot is secure, you have your own stress ball. This is really fun to play with, especially if you're studying or working. Thank you all so much for joining me for this Teens Create. The written instructions for this project can be found in the video description below. If you enjoyed this and want to show off your work, be sure to take us on your social media posts. I hope you can all join us for our next Teens Create. But until then, take care and best of luck for the end of the school year.